continue to work on our uh, drop down this is the basics of report definition rule so we have populated our drop down coming back to our drop down we have populated our drop down using okay yes. yeah so we have populated our drop down using clipboard page by executing an activity and using report definition rules so what is the disadvantage of doing like this what is the disadvantage or what uh, of using an activity or using a report definition rule to populate a drop down i'll tell you now okay so look at here for our testing purpose to better understand the uh, to better gain the knowledge of uh, how it is being disadvantage of using a drop down with act uh, with uh, uh, with report definition rule activity i am going to take the straight drop down from here which has been configured i am going to configure it back for the activity for our better understanding like clipboard page so now this drop down will be populated by using by executing browse states activity i'll show you through the tracer how how it is executing now save this i am copying this drop down along with the configuration i am also making it available in the personal vehicle information screen within the same drop down see i am going to add this within the same drop down just give me one minute within the same work copy sorry not drop down i did not copy it or what somewhere around here i have added okay so look at here now in my workflow i have pers customer details screen i have personal vehicle information screen so for our better understanding i made this straight drop down which is getting populated from activity by using an activity i have also made it available in vehicle information screen means one work object you create within one work object the straight drop down is available two times okay so i am going to run the flow now begin insurance flow and here i am going to run this okay before i run this i am going to make sure to open the tracer to see for the drop down population purpose activity is being executed or not okay i'll tell you how to do the settings for the tracer so tracer i have opened i am going to run the flow see when i run the flow customer details form will be loaded when the customer details form is loading straight drop down is getting loaded now the straight drop down when it is getting loading it should have executed it would have executed an activity with obj browse method activity got executed can you see here activity executed or not with obj browse so i am creating a work object where in which i have a drop down which is being populated from the table using an activity the activity got executed for the first screen where the drop down is available this is clear now i am going to clear out the tracer for better understanding minimize it i'll submit this screen next screen do you have state drop down so it should be populated right it should be loaded from again it should be loaded from table now if it is again loading from table activity got executed so two times activity got executed suppose if i use it in the another screen if i include one more screen in the work object so for that screen also i have used state drop down so will it execute activity again yes. okay so now here state drop down data is common across these three screens are different is it common or different data it's a common data okay so the data is constant for all the three screens how far it is constant how long it will be it, it would be constant time with respect to time how long this data is constant i am using my application i built my application today i use it after 10 years will this data be constant or changing not sure so for next 6 months it is constant all the states constant data or it will change how frequently this data will change Hmm? We cannot say. Maybe six months. 
one year i'm not sure 50 years also it may not change i'm not sure okay so the data is constant in this situation data is not changing same data you are populating in screen one screen two screen three still you are executing for the same data you are executing activity many times okay so keep this aside i'll tell you one real time example okay suppose i'm just going to log into a banking application where in which i am requesting for the interest rate of the personal loan okay i'll go to one of the screen interest rates where i am going to click on personal loan interest rate it will display interest rate is 14.5 percentage so once you click on the link interest rate for personal loan it will go to database okay in the database it will verify for the personal loan what is the interest rate 14.5 it will bring and display to you so i have, I have searched today okay similar to me <coughs> <coughs> there will be n number of requesters who are going to request for the same data so in a day there will be millions of customers who are going to request the look at the request for the interest rate of the personal loan so for everyone what it has to do it has to execute an activity activity is going to communicate with the database for the first time when you are executing execute activity communicate with the database get the data display in the ui 14.5 suppose again you are only checking again one more time you are clicking what have, what will happen it will execute their activity it will go to database and display it similar to you there will be another users who are going to log into the server so they will also request for the same what will happen it will execute the activity again for them it will go to database and bring up the interest rate and display on the screen so now this interest rate 14.5 percentage of interest rate how frequently this is this will get updated in a bank how frequently it will be updated maybe whenever it, it might be six months once in six months or once in 12 months whenever the reserve bank is going to update these things okay based on that they are going to change this but in the situation if you take today tomorrow day after tomorrow like this in a month something like this for a long term period the data is constant the data is constant and whenever any requester is going to request for this data the same data you have to supply for everyone to supply the same data to multiple requesters or one requester or maybe within a work object maybe a number of times different different screens same data to serve what you are doing is you are executing the rule again and again and you are hitting the database again and again and you are fetching the data back from the database okay so now look at here So now here is requester one, suppose requester two or work updates you can consider or requesters, whatever it is. Okay. Here go ahead. Requesters. One, two, three, four. Like this. So now here is your PRPC rule that you are executing. Okay, the rule that you are executing, PRPC rule you are going to execute. Suppose you are going to execute an activity. So you are executing an activity with the logic of browse from table or fetch from the table. I can say fetch from table. You are going to fetch from the table whenever you request for interest loan. So now it is going to hit the database table. One of the table is there wherein which you have interest rate table so here okay here is the table for interest rates table so here you go ahead interest rate is available suppose for personal loan it is available 14.5 percent something like this okay so now here is your clipboard it is coming to brpc means it will come to clipboard okay this is clipboard see whenever a requester is going to request for the data now requester is going to okay this requester and second requester third requester fourth request all of these people so requester one is going to request for interest 
rate of personal loan similarly so every one of these people are going to request for the interest rate of the so one two three four four requests are being made so for request one it will go ahead and hit the activity so activity will be executed